just scoot back a little. Hello, beautiful people. Today, I wanted to go ahead and give you a room tour. I did it! I haven't given a room tour of this house that I live in for college, and I also wanted to go ahead and redecorate my desk slash workspace that I have here in my bedroom. I was going to do a room tour a while ago, like soon after I moved in because I thought I was gonna have my room fully decorated by then and that just, you know, did not happen. <laughs> I finally decided that I don't wanna have to drive all the way to campus just to do homework because that's how much I dislike doing homework at my desk because it is just dark, it's depressing, it's just like an ugly space. <laughs> I, it kind of just turned into an area where I throw my backpack and just other random things that I don't want to deal with right now. So yesterday I went to Target and I went to World Market to buy some decorations. I actually don't think I got anything from Target for my bedroom, but I also bought myself a lamp and a little hanging shelf to go over my desk. Both of those were from Urban Outfitters. I think they have the cutest room decor. I just love their home light, excuse me. I love their home section of the app and their stores. I think it's so cute. The clothing rack in my room is actually from Urban, but I went ahead and bought this little hanging shelf to put over my desks and I thought I could have like either a plant or just like a little vase with flowers and a candle and I could put like my camera up there just little knick-knacky things to display. And then it's so dark in that corner of my room, just light does not reach there. So I got a lamp. This is also from Urban. Tell me this is not the cutest lamp you've ever seen. Oh, at Target, I did buy a light bulb. It doesn't come with a light bulb and I bought like the color changing light bulb. But now all that I have to do is just actually decorate it and clean the space out. So let's get started. I, oh wait, I didn't show you this. I also went to World Market and I bought, look how cute this is. Bought this little vase and then I bought this little bouquet of whatever these are supposed to be. And I thought it'd be so cute. I could just put them in there and I could display them on that little hanging shelf. I also bought these um, <laughs> from World Market. I don't know if you can even tell what it is. They're just like, I don't even know what you call this. They're just like dried plants that I also thought I could cut because they are very long. I could cut pretty short and I could scatter them in this vase also, maybe? But yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I am ready to finally redecorate my room. Oh god, it's not working. Oh god, this isn't going as planned. I have this disco ball plant, hanging plant thing and I've never hung it up and I'm ready just to finally hang it up. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I'm gonna try. If it doesn't work out, you know, it's not the end of the world. I will have someone help me out on, on a later date. We've already run into an issue because I could have sworn the box that the disco ball came in gave me a screw to screw into the ceiling and I can't find it. This was the box that it came in, but like there's nothing in here besides just like paper and packaging. Like, wait, what the heck? Where did it go? I'm like, I don't know where it could have been. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, I found it, it's right here. Okay, thank God I found it. It was just hidden in my closet. Oh no, this is not gonna work. I'm sad now. <laughs> I really cannot do this on my own. Okay, I need some time. <laughs> I'm just scared it's gonna like fall back out. How heavy is it? I mean, I feel like it's, it's definitely heavier than the light bulb. <laughs> I can't stop making that noise. I did it! Alright, now for the moment of truth. It's so beautiful to 
Ta-da! I did it. Look at it. Hey. But look at it. That's so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, it was definitely a struggle. I had I was on the phone with my boyfriend because he hung up this light. He hung this up and it's the same screw dealio up into the ceiling. I am a little nervous about it falling. It seems like it's in there pretty pretty securely, so I think we'll be okay. But I need to find like a light plant that I could actually put in it. Maybe like a fake plant even. We'll see. But that'll be next on my to-do list for my room. Okay, moving on, we're going to start redecorating my desk now. Yeah, so this, this is the desk situation. You can see I just have a trash can, which I feel like I can't really make that look much cuter just cause I need a trash can in here. This is just like some extra stuff that I have. This is a box. Like, I don't know. And then this is my desk. Don't mind this. It came damaged and I was too lazy to complain about it. This lamp I had in my dorm, so I just thought I'd use it again, but it's actually disgusting over here. This, I hate this. I wish it was black or just different because it looks so ugly. And then this is just like some random light, my old bullet keeper, mirror, candle. It's just sad. It's just not a nice place. And it's so dark, like, look at that. It's so dark. I think I'm gonna clear everything off of the desk and start fresh, basically, and see where we go from there. did it i hung it up um we didn't have any power tools so i just had to use like a normal screwdriver but it actually worked out i didn't have a level either so i think it's level i think it looks good oh, i'm so happy with it okay let's keep going let's keep on trucking forward I think my room is done for now, let's be honest. I don't know why I'm out of breath right now. I've finished, I've tidied up my room a little bit and now it is time for the long awaited college room tour. Okay, so we're gonna start outside. When you walk in the door, this is what you see. Why don't we just start with the desk area just cause that's what I've been working on. Um, this light is kind of bright. Okay, so the desk area, it is still a little bit dark. I mean, obviously it's dark cause I dimmed the light a lot, but it was just too bright on my camera otherwise. But this is my desk. I put away the box that was there, cleaned up my trash, and that's just like my film camera, foam roller. I put the extra dried flowers in there just for now. And then on my desk, I have a speaker, my computer, lamp, my supplies, uh, like pencils, sticky notes, scissors, stuff like that. And this light actually changes colors, so you can make it brighter if you want, but you can also make it like all these other colors, which is fun. And then up here, I just put a candle for now, and this is what I did with the vase. I put both those little yellow pollen looking flower balls things <laughs> and the little dried flowers, and I think that looks really cute. This. I'm not in love with. I'm gonna leave it here for now, but I think I want to print out photos and hang them up on the wall maybe. I might invest in some other light source, whether that be fairy lights or something, just cause it's kind of dark still. Uh, I am happy with the space right now. It's probably still gonna evolve a little bit just cause I'm not entirely in love with it still, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was before and I will be definitely 
doing work there more often. And then directly next to my desk, this is just a closet. It's not really much of a closet. There isn't a whole lot of storage in it. I kind of just put, I guess I'll just show you. You can't see a whole lot, but there's some clothes, purse, belt, hat, laundry, towels, and then just like storage of some other stuff. I hang my robe on the outside. Over here, this is my bed. This is my happy place. I really love my bed and the wall and art surrounding it. I think it turned out really nicely. It came out exactly how I wanted it. It's just kind of like simplistic, but the abstract art kind of like livens up the area. And then this I just brought from home and I love the yellow bedspread. I think it's so fun. It's so outside of my comfort zone, but once I got it, I knew it was just perfect. And then over here, we have my clothing rack. This is where a majority of my sweatshirts, um, my coats go. And then I have all of my shoes lined up here and up there. Here's an extra pair of shoes that were overflow. I keep grocery bags and stuff right here. This is my tripod. And then in there, I just have extra hand sanitizer and some headphones. I take to the gym every now and then. And then up here is just another little art piece. It's kind of in a random spot, but I think it kind of ties the whole wall together and kind of fills the negative space too when the door is open. Then over here we have my de- or not my desk, my dresser. I also really like this area. I love this dresser so much. I think it's from All Modern. The only thing I don't really like is these are on like tracks of any sort. They just kind of like pull out and are stopped by little wooden pegs. And they're also, like this is pulled out all the way. So it's kind of hard to get stuff that's in the back, but I still really love it for what it is. That's where I keep all my clothes, etc. Everything else that I can't fit on here. On top of my dresser, I just have some perfumes. I got this before I moved in. I finally burned these candles last night. I don't know why I didn't start burning them sooner. I think I was just nervous that they were gonna melt and like drip all everywhere, but they didn't, which is great. And then I recently just got this because before my jewelry was just kind of scattered everywhere. But I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond for super cheap, which is really nice. Um, I just have another perfume that I wear a lot, another little sample perfume that I wear a lot. And then more candles, a little jewelry box that I just kind of have like matches and some extra jewelry and so just some other storage. A pair of sunglasses that I reach for a lot. I kind of hid my deodorant back there. And then this little bulletin board where I hung up my parking violations. Um, <laughs> the first time I got a parking ticket was down here in Eugene. I cried. It was only $16 though, so like, it was not a big deal at all. So I thought I would just kind of make a joke out of it, a lighthearted joke, and hang them up just cause I think it's kind of funny. And then I have some necklaces up here and I love this print. I think it's so fun and cute. <laughs> and then there I just have my keys and my mask. So when I am leaving, I can just grab those and run out. Over here, oh also this is like, my little hanging light that I have. I really love that also. Then over here, I have my mirror. I fucking love this mirror with all my heart. This is the best mirror ever. It is from World Market. It is massive. Love it. I love it. But yeah, I just have a little beanie up there, makeup down there, a heater, because it gets really cold in this house. There's no heating in this house, except for like these little wall heaters, which are really sketchy because the kind of fire hazards. And then there's my disco ball. It's so cute. I'm so glad I was able to hang it. Now I just need to find like a little plant I can put in there and have it draped down because I think that'd be so cute if I was here like taking a mirror pick and I just had a little, little plant hanging down. That'd be so cute. And look at how cute my desk area looks now. Like I don't hate looking over there. It's a lot more pleasing to the eye. Well, that is my college room. This is where I've been living. This is where I will be living for the next two and a half years. I'm really happy with it. I enjoy being in this space. It's warm and it's cozy and it's just a nice little homey area away from home. I had fun finally redecorating my desk. I was so excited to hang up my disco ball and put up that hanging shelf. I was so excited too. I'm so glad I did it. It kind of pulled my room together. Now that the desk area is finally cleaned up and furnished a little bit, everything just kind of ties together a little bit nicer. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye.